it's clay trader and this will be a video chart that goes over the oil sector uh, and uh, I'm going to use a USO which is the United States oil fund to do that um, as I've noted in other videos there is uh, other charts you can use um, for this but I'm just using the USO since so that's the one I've been using for the past two or three video charts uh, over oil and like I always said before these um, oil is just one of those broad economic indicators both domestic and you know globally that you want to know what's going on with it I mean it's always just uh, one of those things where you should understand what's going on with oil um, just uh, you know give you a good perspective and context of you know just an overall like I said economic indicator uh, so with that the reason I wanted to do it today was uh, if I I think I saw the headline where they announced inventories or something and they were higher than expected or they're just high I didn't read it all just saw a headline um, but whatever was announced, obviously the market took it as a sign to sell off and take some profits. Um, huge volume today, and when you compare it towards you know the past few months, I think this is the highest it's been. And it was basically all sell volume. Um, big red candle, closed almost at the low of day. I'm looking at some after-hour trades right now. It's still trading right down around that area. Um, so I just want to get this updated and kind of go over... Um, what we want to look for in the future now and try to figure out if this is just kind of a one day thing or if there's any sort of substance uh, behind it because as you can see here we had well it's either it's been kind of multiple multiple days here here we had one which was totally um, a, a big head fake it went down and then shot up here we had one once again went up after that here was one that actually f uh, followed through try to make recovery and then fell down uh, here's another one came back up so the question uh, is really you know what's gonna happen next we've seen pretty much across the map we've seen things just all of a sudden shoot straight up we've seen them um, continue on downwards uh, so the the next few days this week and early next week are, are gonna be very interesting uh, so does this down move any have any substance but uh, behind it or is this just a one-day thing well the easiest way to match that is by simply following uh, this support line down here you can see that uh, this has a history here we've had lows there had some lows right there and once again now we're getting close to it so if there's any substance behind this move in terms of if this is a truly bearish move down let's see how it reacts around this level because right now on the chart this is its support so we'll see uh, what happens. Will a price come down here and maybe drop a load a little bit and then um, close back up or uh, is it just price going to just continue on down that remains to be seen now let's say this line does fall well then what's the next kind of um, measuring point in terms of how bearish is this down move well we don't have to wait too long because then we have this support level down at this area and notice I'm not talking about prices because prices aren't important on this chart or excuse me on this chart it's more of just the actual price action not the price but the price action there's a difference there so I, uh, make sure you note that um, so if the price action comes down, bursts through there, and then the next question is, okay, this is clearly uh, bearish in the short term, but what will it do when it hits down towards this support level? And that's the next question. And let's say this one fails. Now that's something where, um, you know, gasoline and all that stuff is definitely going to be dropping at the pumps. You know, we'll be able to drive places cheaper, and then we have this support down here and I'm gonna make this one a little thicker because this is uh, more of an important one in terms of the overall chart and if I extend this down you can see that with a break of this line then there's really not any support levels for quite a ways uh, down so uh, we ha have a long ways to go before it even tests that but just from an overall chart perspective uh, very clearly you can see that after this uh, you know maybe you have some resist or support down in that area but you know that's that's a pretty big drop there so that's one thing um, to make note of but let's hop back into this short-term area over here so this is kind of the um, three-step um, measuring system that I'll, I'll call it and each step is just a support level if this one falls then you can say okay it's pretty bearish if this one falls okay well it's even more bearish and if this one falls then it's wow you know oil is really gonna be having a big pullback here um, personally I don't know I think we're just going to stay in a channeling mode here. Uh, that's just my opinion. Um, but I would be surprised if it did drop all the way down here. I won't complain if it does because, um, you know, I'm all about cheaper gas prices. Uh, but for the time being, uh, 
with the way the dollar is going and all that stuff, I don't see oil really taking too much of a plunge. I think this was just more of a knee-jerk reaction, uh, traders and so forth. Um, we'll see what happens, though. Um, but these are the uh, kind of the measuring systems that you're, you're going to want to watch. With each one of these falling, you know, that's the stronger and stronger the mo momentum goes in the down in the downwards direction. Um, in terms of resistance, you know, short term, we pretty much just have this downtrend line here, but that's not really what I'm interested in right now. I just want to know how bearish this move really is, and the best way to measure that is just going to be to watch these support levels. So um, keep your eye on that, and um, it'll be a good indicator um, and give you a good grasp of uh, whether or not this was just a, um, you know, a one-day thing or not. If you do have any other questions, though, please shoot me a message. On another note, I'd encourage you to check out bullmarketnewsletter.net. If you go there and sign up for the email, you will be sent a free ebook, which has been uh, getting good reviews. It goes over different strategies and so forth, the profit in the market. And then you'll, you'll just simply be subscribed. You'll get uh, bullish chart setups, trade ideas, all sorts of things from uh, big boards all the way down to small caps. Uh, good variety. Uh, so there's something there for everybody. And best part is it's literally all free, no strings attached or anything like that. So once again, this was uh, USO, United States Oil Fund. Thanks for listening.